everybody, Steve Przbrowski here. Welcome to tip number 39 in the series, 101 Tips to Ace Your Promotional Exam. All right, as a reminder, my website, code3firetraining.com, has lots of great free information um, on it, especially on the free stuff link. So check it out if you haven't already. And also this series of um, tips, webinars, I guess, is um, based on my book from Fire Engineering Books and Videos that's out now, 101 Tips to Ace Your Promotional Exam, a great resource for anybody preparing for any position from engineer all the way up to fire chief. Plus, a I mean, and it's not just a promotional preparation book, but it's a great leadership book as well, too. So check it out. And if you have already, thank you very much for your support. So let's talk about tip number 39. We've talked about taking a look at what other departments are looking at, what your current department's looking at. Um, and now we're going to build upon that. You've already hopefully figured out what your department has done in the past and hopefully talk to people about how to best prepare and what you may be looking for and preparing for in the future. Obviously the position, I get that, but now it's time I think to do take the next step of do your research to identify what the promotional process components are. So I sort of touched on that, like I said, in the last tip, find out what to expect on your next promotional exam, but now it's time to research and I'll talk about that. So when you talk about researching the process events, I hit on all these things, you know, depending on what your department does, um, know it, and they'll probably stay the same, but they could, sh could change it a bit. But anyway, I talked about the last um, tip, number 38, you know, what is your department gonna expect of a engineer candidate, a captain's candidate, a battalion chief candidate, all the way up to fire chief, you know, and it could be any of these different exercises here. And I'm also one of the things that's not mentioned. Another common thing is a personnel counseling scenario or a role play scenario um, or a teaching demonstration. Those are all common as well, too. So the key is doing your homework um, on each of these events. Now, there's a lot of great books that are out there. You know, I'm obviously biased because I think the book that I wrote and had fire, had fire engineering books and videos published based on this series, I think is a very valuable book as well too. But I've also got another book that's available off my website, How to Excel at Promotional Exam, Fire Department Promotional Exams. And it goes into more depth on each of these items right here. And there's other books out there. Andoni Castro's put together a good, another great book, How to Master the Fire Department Testing Process. He allowed me to write a couple pages in, the, that in there. I've known uh, Andoni for years since I was doing my paramedic internship up at his former department where he retired from up in Sacramento. So we've known each other for years. He has a lot of great stuff as well too. And I'll share those things here too shortly. But um, there's a lot of great places to get research. Obviously the internet is a great way to do research. Um, as I've shared already, my website, code3firetraining.com, the free stuff link has a great way to learn more. If you go on my website on the free stuff link, I actually do have a ton of information free um, that goes into more depth. I mean, articles that I've written that have been published by the major fire, fire publications, um, blogs I've written, um, more, more webinars like this and everything else that go into all those things, the written test, the oral interview, and even a lot of my presentations that I've done around the country, I've put on the website too as PowerPoint presentations. So it's almost like a train the trainer program that you can use off my website. And I encourage you to check it out. Uh, I've also mentioned in the past about talking to those who have taken it, especially those who've been promoted. And as I've mentioned before, talk to those that have taken the promotional exam because they'll give you a lot of great advice. And I say talk to those who've been promoted because they got, you're not a threat to them most of the time. For those that have taken it and have not passed or not get, maybe they passed, but they didn't get promoted, you are a threat to them. So you got to be very careful about what information they'll share or won't share. I'm sad to say there may be some that lead you astray because they're circling the wagons and fearful of you. I mean, it just, it's life. And you never know what they're going to tell you. But again, talk to those who have taken the, the process in the past because they can probably give you a heck of a lot of great advice. You know, also, as I mentioned in the past, talk to those that have been raiders. Your department probably has many chief officers that have sit, sat on your department's panel, promotional panels, as well as other department promotional panels. Like I just got back from over the hill in Santa Cruz last week. There was a a department over there that was holding an assistant chief test and they had four internal candidates and I was one of the raiders for the day. I love doing stuff like that. So I'm not going to give you the answers to the test, but shit, talk to guys like me that, and many others that have served as raiders because we'll give you some general aspects, some guidelines of what great candidates do, what not so great candidates do. I'm not going to give away the trade secrets, but again, that's not the goal is to 
get the trade secrets. The goal is to be yourself and prepare for the position. You know, as I've talked about another tip, you know, in a previous tip, talk to your command staff as well too, because a lot of them have served as raiders. And if nothing else, they're doing the job that you want. So really, I think to go back to what the whole point was of this whole tip, you know, really do your research to identify the promotional process components. Um, and again, the best way to find out what those components are going to be. Again, don't expect your training chief or your human resources staff to give away the secrets. They're not going to give away the secrets, trust me. But ask them, ask the question, hey, what should I best expect for or what should I prepare for um, on my next test? You know, and hopefully they give you some advice. But that's it. This is a short one. But for the sake of it, hopefully, again, you got at least one nugget out of this. And, you know, until the next time, I encourage you to keep plugging away keep fighting the good fight, be safe, and uh, please feel free to reach out if I can be of any assistance to you. So until the next time, take care, and we'll see you soon.